Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to see an update on the Tracer's mission to map solar wind atmospheric interaction. We've got electromagnetic plants and a new paleo intensity stack for the Holocene. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find small pops at peripheral active regions, but the central longitudes are dominated by the coronal hole and smaller sunspots. They're not flaring at all. And all CME production is well away from the Earth. Geomagnetic conditions are calm this morning as the second row from the bottom in purple is Y. Plasma speed of the solar wind peaked 36 hours ago and is waning back now to ambient quiet conditions. Meanwhile, solar wind enhancement from this coronal hole is two to three days away. And when we look to the incoming limb, we can see that the next one is the southern coronal hole opening already heading in. Let's go to the articles and we begin with tracers. They are readying to collect science data now after a glitch in one of the two satellites after launch. They probably should not have launched into a coronal hole stream. If you recall, this mission is poised to break down the gates holding back the science of solar climate forcing. Do need that data coming in as soon as possible. Up next, we've got a literature review of how plant health is impacted by light, electricity, and magnetism. Critical life process signaling, chemical balance yes the plants are just as electromagnetically reactive as any other creature with cells and again every living creature is impacted by the magnetic pole shift and electric changes of the planet lastly folks a new paleo intensity stack for the holocene covering almost all of it the last 10,000 years the data is extensive and has a lot to tell the scientists but it's just one chart that has my full attention so first all Antarctic stacks ever show the NOAA event as being older than pretty much everywhere else in the world. So it's not shocking to see their dip about 7,000 years ago instead of six. But most importantly, look at the left side where we come to today. The field is tanking. And while we've only lost about 30% since the 1800s, half in the last two decades, by the way, we have lost 55% since the 1600s going from 1 down to 0.45. That's a new high watermark in this magnetic pole shift, and look at how fast that curve is crashing. You are there. Folks, three more winter tour events. Orlando is less than a month away, Dallas in February, and Vegas during March Madness. Yes, I planned well. Tickets at the link below, and folks, this afternoon the December issue of Observer Review comes out. We have a ton of great stories covering the top science news of the last month, specifically the ones that people at this channel care about the most. Huge top stories in November, and it's the only publication on Earth tracking the Earth disaster cycle and magnetic pole shift, as well as the space weather forcing of the atmosphere, agriculture, earthquakes, and human health. All links to sign up are below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.